Hi students, once again I welcome you all to my channel, Abrasar Classes. Today we will be seeing some important problems on the topic error analysis, which comes in the chapter units and dimensions. Now this is part one of the video, this is the first problem. It is saying a critical quantity A is related to four observables A, B, C and D as follows. They have given A is equal to A square P cube divided by C root of D. The percentage errors of measurement in A, B, C and D are 1%, 3%, 2% and 2% respectively. Okay. Now what exactly they are asking, what is the percentage error in the quantity A? First let me teach the concept behind these problems. Let us say if we have error in quantity raised to some power. Understand the concept? In just 45 seconds, you can do this sum. Let us say, suppose we have been given x is equal to what? a to the power of n divided by b to the power of n. How to write this in error analysis? Delta x by x is equal to this power raised will get multiplied here. n into delta a by a plus of plus will be there not minus always plus will be there in in error analysis in the denominator what is there b to the power of m m okay this raised power will get multiplied here into what delta b by b this you have to remember what does it mean this is percentage error in the value of x percentage error in the value of x is equal to n into what percentage error in the value of in the value of a plus m into what percentage error in the value of p in the value of p now directly i can write this one percentage error in a in capital a is equal to what directly i can write what 2 into percentage error in what in small a plus of what 3 into percentage error in the value of p right plus of percentage error in c here nothing is there c to the power of 1 that is 1 into percentage error in what in c plus of what is meant by square root of d that is nothing but what d to the power of 1 by 2 okay this hope you know this one okay this is what 1 by 2 percentage error in d right okay this much even you did not write this one okay directly you can write a is equal to percentage error a is equal to what 2 into what is given percentage error in a is how much 1 okay plus of 3 into what is percentage error in b 3 very good plus of okay what is percentage error in c 2 very good plus of half of what is percentage error in d half into 2 okay respectively they have given okay this is a b c and d percentage errors in a b c and d respectively now you just add this one 2 plus of 3 into 3 9 plus of 2 plus of 1. How much is this? 2 plus 11, 11 plus 2 is 13 plus 1 is 
14 percent is the right answer hope you understood directly you can use this one directly you can write this one okay once if you understand the concept directly you can write this one 2 into correct 2 into percentage error in a plus of 3 into percentage error in b plus of percentage error in c plus of 1 by 2 into percentage error in d okay hope you understood 14 percent is the right answer we'll go to the next problem what is this the maximum error in the measurement of mass and length of the side of a cube are 2 percent and 1 percent percentage error okay percentage error in m how much they are given? 2. Okay. 2%. Two percent. Percentage error in in length in L. How much they are given? 1%. What is density is equal to? What is density is given by? Density is equal to mass by volume. Right. That is D is equal to M divided by what is volume? Is that thing but? L cube I can write. D is equal to M by L cube. How I have to write this in error analysis? Percentage error in D is equal to percentage error in M plus of what? Plus of 3 into percentage error in L. That is it. That is equal to how much percentage error in M they have given? 2 plus of 3 into percentage error in L is 3 into 1. That is 2 plus 3 is how much? 5 percent. Okay, percentage error in D is equal to 5 percent. Hope you have understood. This is also very easy sum. Now, let us go to the next problem. Here, the values of two resistors are 5 plus or minus 0.2. Maximum value. What is the maximum value of this resistance? 5 plus of 0 0.2. What is the minimum value? 5 minus of 0 0.2. That is it. Okay. Now, let me call this as this is R1. Okay. Plus R minus delta R1 is given here. Okay. And here what is given? R2 is given. Plus R minus delta R2 is given. Okay. That is it. What is the percentage rate of the equivalent resistance when they are connected in parallel? Okay. What is the value of? R1, R1 is equal to 5, okay, don't forget this kilo ohm here, okay, 5 kilo ohm, right. How much is delta R1? Delta R1 is how much? 0.2 kilo ohm, right. How much is R2? R2 is equal to 10.0, that is 10 kilo ohm, right. How much is delta R2? Delta R2 is equal to 0.1 kilo ohm, okay. Now, what is uh, when two resistances are in parallel, we know that Rp is equal to what? R1, R2 divided by R1 plus of R2. Calculate Rp. How much is R1? 5. Into how much is R2? 10. Okay. Divided by R1 plus R2. That is 5 plus of 10. That is equal to 50 by 15. Okay. 50 by 15. Calculate this separately. Okay. Rp. That is 50 by 15. Right, okay, everything is kilo. Right, gets the answer 50 by 50. Understood here R1, R2 that is in kilo ohm divided by 5 plus 10. Okay, ultimately you will be getting the answer in kilo ohm. That is there. Okay, now what is when two resistances are in parallel 1 by Rp is equal to I can write what 1 by R1 plus of 1 by R2. Right, now. How to write this in error analysis? You can write this as delta Rp divided by Rp square. Remember this one. Okay, this is very, very important. Very, very important. Delta, whenever 1 by Rp is there, delta Rp divided by Rp square. Similarly here, delta R1 by R1 square plus of delta R2 by R2 square. This you have to remember. Okay. Other things will follow automatically. Now, I have to write this one. What? Delta Rp by Rp. One Rp, I will send it here. This Rp will get multiplied with this one. That is delta R1 by R1 square plus of delta R2 by R2 
values, no substitute the values. Okay, that is equal to R P. How much we got? Fifty by fifteen. Okay, no need to write the units. Okay, we are supposed supposed to calculate in percentage. Fifty by fifteen. Delta R one is how much? That is point two. Okay, just substitute the values. No need to write the units here. Okay, divide by R one. The whole square. R one the whole square means twenty five. I can write directly. Right. Plus our delta R two is how much? Point one. Okay. Divided by R two square. R two square is how much? R two is ten into ten is hundred. Okay. That is equal to fifty by fifteen. Okay. I will take hundred eight watts. LCM four times four into two is point eight. I can write point eight. Plus of again hundred. I will take uh, okay hundred. I have taken LCM hundred by hundred is one one into point point one. Okay, point one. Understood. That is equal to that is equal to fifty by fifteen into point nine. Point nine by hundred. Point nine by hundred. That is equal to. Fifty by fifteen. Okay. Now this see here. I can write this. Just simplify. Simplify this. Fifty by fifteen. Okay. Three times are three. Three five are fifteen. Ten by three. Into point nine by hundred. Again zero zero gets cancelled. That is equal to point nine by thirty. And it should that is equal to how much is that? Point nine by thirty. How much exactly we are going to get? Point nine by hundred. Point nine by thirty. Point nine by thirty. I can write this as what nine. I can write the other by three hundred. Three by hundred. I can write that is zero point zero three. Okay. In terms of percentage, how you write percentage error in RP resistance is equal to this three percent three. Okay. You have to multiply it by what hundred. Okay. Hope you understood this one. Three percent is the right answer. Be careful while writing this stuff. Okay, this is very very important. Other things are simple calculation, and you have to send this R P S by here. R P. Okay, these two steps are very very important. Other things are just simple calculation, and do not forget it to multiply by hundred. Once you write percentage here, you have to multiply by hundred. That is equal to three percent. Hope you understood this one. Next problem, we'll see what it is saying. According to Joule's law of heating, heat produced H is equal to what I square into R T. What we are supposed to calculate error in the measurement of H. That is very easy. Okay, percentage error in H is equal to what two into percentage error in I. Right. Plus of what percentage error in R? Plus of what percentage error in T? That is it. That is equal to two into percentage error in I. I is how much? That is three. Three percent. Okay. Plus of percentage error in R is how much? Four. They have given. Okay. Four. Plus percentage error in T is how much? Six. Now six plus four plus of six. That is equal to how much? Sixteen. Okay, sixteen is the right answer. That is plus R minus also I can write sixteen. Okay, plus R minus sixteen. This is the right answer. Students, hope you understood all the problems. If you like this video, kindly share with your friends. Subscribe for my channel. Ask doubts in the comment box. Like the video. I wish you all the best for your KCET, NEET, 
and IIT JEE examination. Thanks for watching my video.